And of course, we'll have more on the front end. Every hour of the day in America, there's some family somewhere being told that their teenager has cancer. My hips are placed. I got a long disease. Wow. straight as a dog. That's right. I'm not actually, I just got it. Nice, you'll never yeah. be alone usually. One of the things that I'm going to be doing during chemo, I'm going to teach myself ukulele. Yeah, well, get the Eddie Vedder book. They have been overlooked, there's not enough of them, and they're hidden as children or, or adults, so they were, not enough have been done on the progress of the treatments for them. <laughs> well, just a light went on in my head with this one because it's, uh, it's not research, this is something to do with building a community. And without this age group, you know, we, The Who started when I, I was in The Who when I was 18 years old. Uh, and without the support of this age group, adolescents and young adults, our business wouldn't be there. I'm in a rock band, that's yeah. I've got an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> These are the people who spoke. It, it, was, it was the dirtiest place I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> and I love you, buddy. It's just an easy way for me to say thank you. And, and I enjoy it, I love it. I, it just, I'm really passionate about it. Hi, hey, I'm on tour with the Who, and we're off to uh, Michigan tomorrow. Um, I mean, How's she gonna look? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go in there real quick. You know, it, it, it's a very different system. It's been a big learning curve for me to have to work in, in America. To, to your medical system, God, you need some help. <laughs> you really need some help. <laughs> and, you know, and, and it's tragic to see it because it, 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 it shouldn't shouldn't be so entrenched. So oh, that's what this is all about, in creating an environment where people can be comfortable, be happy, be together. That's what it's about. Yes, my daughter, she has B so AOL. Teaching her about the music and getting to meet him and then putting it in a scrapbook and doing things to show her later that, you know, and she'll be, well, he's a legend, so I'll get to tell her how we met a legend. She has been in remission since January. We were in here for a month. I think it's great that he's doing this for all the all the patients and because they sometimes need a bigger voice than what they have. Give him a hug. Is that okay? No, she wants a voice. Exchange me. 